about 2,000 years ago in Nazareth, there lived a young Jewish girl named Mary. She was unmarried, but soon she was going to be married to a kind man whose name was Joseph. God sent the angel Gabriel to announce to Mary that soon a son will be born to her. Listening to this, Mary was surprised. She said, Huh? Me a son? Then Gabriel said, He would be called Jesus and will be the Son of God. Mary was very obedient. So she said, Lord has hated me and I will always agree with what God has decided for me. The time was just near for Mary was about to give birth to her child. But unfortunately, Joseph and Mary had to leave Nazareth for the Roman Emperor Augusta made a new rule to pay the taxes to register for censors. So Joseph and Mary made their way to Bethlehem. It took a long time for them to reach there. Finally, when they reached Bethlehem, they found all the places full. Joseph said to Mary, Mary, you sit somewhere. Take rest. I am finding a suitable place for us to stay. Joseph wandered in search of shelter, but found none. Then he came back and said, I have tried, but found none. Mary said to Joseph, Joseph, I am sure God has planned something for us. But they were really tired. Joseph said, Oh God, please help me. Then, at last, they found a place, but not a rich palace, not a fancy castle. It was a stable where God's son was born. Then Joseph said to Mary, I am going to collect some hay for you. You can sleep comfortably. And finally, that night, Jesus was born. She wrapped him in a cloth and placed him in a manger. Now, let us tell you all about some interesting facts about Santa Claus. Children, do they know Santa Claus as that jolly man in red who delivers presents to children on this Christmas Eve? Popular account says that Saint Nicholas, whom we all know, Santa Claus gave away his inheritance and traveled the countryside to help the poor and the sick. He is known as the protector of the children and he is always admired for his 